Hi everyone, it's Sarah with House Popper. And today we are going to do something with rivets again. As everyone knows, I like playing with rivets. I have done videos on how to um, replace rivets kind of, or how to tighten them. Um, but this one is going to be drilling out the rivets and then of course replacing them. This is a cute little piece. It's all prepped for tinning, but as you can hear, it is loose. And the rivets that were used to um, be put on them, they are brass actually. So if you can see in there, they're brass, but they've fallen off on the outside. They've been broken off with use or because it was a poor, um, poorly made piece. So this is actually gonna be kind of interesting because it's not a uh, typical thing. My guess based on the exterior holes is that these rivets, the heads are um, quite large, but the actual shaft of the rivet was very skinny because again, these holes here on the handle are really small compared to the interior piece here. So the very first thing that we have to do is, and because I really don't want to wreck too much this handle, um, I'm going to start out using a drill bit on the drill press that's about the diameter of um, of the, the holes here on this piece. And um, if we have to go a little bit bigger, we will, but I really don't wanna have to actually drill through um, and, and wreck this handle itself. So um, without further ado, uh, we're heading over to the drill press. Okay, um, this is really tiny. Um, I'm, I'm uh, going with a uh, 3 sixteenths of diameter for this particular one, um, which is about the diameter of the hole on the, um, so tiny, oh no. There we go, so tiny that it doesn't hardly fit on my dang drill press. Let's see here, come on, no, other way. Will it hold is the question, yes. So the other thing that I also do um, with drilling out, and you probably all already know this, but um, I have a clamp here and then I, I back up my piece with wood um, and I stick it off so that I have, you know, it's not actually on the base here. There's quite, there's probably two inches so that I have, I have room to put my piece because um, I'm not gonna make a like a jig back here to back it up um though actually oh we're gonna do this oh no we're not wait where there's a will there's a way right we're gonna we're gonna make this up i've never done this this way but but i bet it'll work so you get to see all the improvising if you would know that like Right now, that thing is surrounding, surrounded by copper. Um, the thing about restorations is there's never a, like, it's never quite, ow, oh, metal. Um, it's never, you're always guessing. And that's kind of the fun and the scary part because one, if you screw up, you're screwed. You don't get to like redo it. So you're guessing and there's no room for screwing up. But, but, uh, you gotta hold the handle as well as the piece itself. So I'm gripping both. The first drill bit was 3.30 seconds. I don't know why I read the wrong number, probably because I read the wrong number. But I'm now gonna go up. Now I'm in, um, I believe it's an eighth, but who knows? Maybe I read it wrong again. Oh, come on. Um, the trick is to drill out the rivet so it's, you know, good. But as you can see, so I've drilled out because you always want to draw, drill out smaller, but it's still not coming off. And I'm going to have to actually drill through um, the handle itself to remove this, which is not fun, but oh well.
There we go. As you can see, now the piece is drilled out. And actually, it's really lightweight, which makes me wonder if it's actually really, um, this rivet is really brass. It's uh, The weight of it tells me this is an aluminum rivet that has been, look at it, that has been electroplated to look brass. Um, and it is not solid shank. It is an act, it's actually, um, it's actually hollow shank. So that's also probably a reason it uh, failed and snapped off on the back end. Just so to show, use good rivets if you're gonna build something. So now we get to do that to the other side and then figure out a way that we're gonna replace these. All right, so we ended up needing the drill again. I'm going to kill that hornet. Oh my gosh. All right, and um, because the only rivets I have are slightly bigger than an eighth, I drilled that out right away too. So it's very minuscule. You can hardly tell the difference in sizes, but it's enough. And then of course I got this to correspond. Um, but what I like to do before I replace the rivets now is to clean the inside of where there's just a tiny bit of, you know, buildup and food and gunk and also around um, the rivets on the inside and the copper on this side and get it nice and organized and straighten out any dents and clean it up. And then we can replace the rivets. Okay, it's clean. And I've also discovered it's lacquered. So yay me, that'll be fun. Everything is all organized. So now I get to work my magic in doing this. And sometimes when you drill out rivets, the metal gets moved and you have to kind of like wiggle the hole that you made so you can force the rivet through. And then once it's through, you get to smush the rivet back on, which is always a bit of a retrofit. So that's always fun. Let's see. Nope. We're going to use right. Now, because it's a retrofit, this isn't an exact perfect fit, which means I can never find the hammers I want, which means I have to sort of wiggle very gently the sizing or else the rivet holes won't fit. There's a tool for this too. If you can drill out a little piece and then back it up, you can get the rivet nice and snug on this side too. And then, when you can line up the other side, make sure it's stable. Get to hammer away. And already, even with one rivet, it's on a nice and sturdy. So now we'll put on the other one and this piece will be ready to go. Alright, so all that remains to be seen is to tin this piece up and polish it up and get rid of the lacquer on the back and it'll be ready for use. Um, it's a cute little piece, I kind of like it a lot. Um, and so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, sorry in advance for the helicopter going overhead, um, please leave them below. I always like to hear from you. I hope this made sense. Um, you can always find me at House Copper on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and yeah, until next time, thank you for watching.